In this video, I'm going to walk you through the instruction set architecture for our CPU. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, we made some important changes to our 8-bit CPU. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the design of instruction set architecture for our 8-bit CPU. If you are new to the channel, I would suggest you to go, please go back and watch all previous videos. This is eighth video in the series 8-bit CPU on FPGA. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and help me reach my 1000 subscriber goal by end of this year. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Like every other CPU, our CPU also has its own instruction set architecture. So uh, now I will walk you through all the instructions for our CPU. So uh, instruction format for our CPU is somewhat like this. Uh, we have eight bit instructions. So out of uh, this uh, total instruction, first four bits are uh, actually represents the, what instruction we are executing and uh, next four bits uh, uh, hold the address. Our CPU uh, supports maximum of 16 different instructions. Out of those, we are only using seven. So the first instruction is a uh, load accumulator. So it is called as LDA and uh, this instruction uh, loads a value uh, from RAM to our A register and the address from where we load the value is represented by address uh, ADDR. So uh, this instruction we are representing as 0000. So uh, for example, LDA0100 will load the memory address, uh, load the contents of address uh, 0, 1, 0, 0 into accumulator and uh, this will this instruction will be uh, encoded as uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then address that is 0, 1, 0, 0. the next instruction is uh, opposite of LDA that is store accumulator uh, so this instruction will uh, store whatever uh, the contents of accumulator to the uh, specified address uh, so uh, this instruction is uh, represented by 0001 and uh, uh, yeah the, so STA0100 will store value whatever there is in accumulator uh, that is our A register so that will be stored in our RAM at the location 0100 uh, next is our uh, add instruction so uh, add instruction is used to add two numbers so uh, one of those numbers will be uh, held in A register and the other one we will take from a memory location uh, which is specified in this instruction. So this instruction I am going to represent it as 0010. Uh, so add 1000 will add a value from uh, memory address 1000 to the value of our accumulator and the result will again be stored in um, A register that is accumulator. Similarly, uh, we have sub instruction. So uh, this works same as our add instruction, just uh, subtracts the value from accumulator and then uh, stores its result back into the accumulator. Uh, since we have only, uh, our ALU only supports uh, add and sub uh, operations, we only have these two instructions. So uh, you can add, uh, so if you add some more capability to our ALU, then uh, maybe you can add some more instructions and uh, you can support, uh, for example, multiply or whatever, if you want uh, shift operations, if you want to implement, then you can support those operations as well. Next is a jump, uh, jump instruction. Uh, so this is unconditional jump. So, so whenever we encounter this instruction, uh, our uh, CPU will uh, start executing uh, from uh, addresses address given by this uh, address parameter. So if, uh, if we say jump to uh, 1000, then our pro uh, whatever uh, 
uh, whatever instruction there is at uh, memory location 1000 uh, we will load it into our cpu and start executing from there uh, this is represented as 0100 next instruction is out so uh, this instruction i have added uh, for the outputting uh, any memory location to our output port so uh, if you remember from uh, if you remember from our de cpu design we have one output port uh, which is connected to our address bus what this instruction will do is uh, take uh, the address and uh, output the content of that memory location to our output port uh, i have encoded this as 0101 and uh, this is the last instruction this is halt so uh, this basically stops the operation of our cpu and uh, i have encoded it as 0110 uh, so that's all uh, so those are the instructions we have in our cpu uh, as you saw our cpu supports uh, our cpu can maximum support 16 instructions uh, by utilizing all four bits uh, we are using just uh, uh, like seven we have seven instructions so we can uh, we can also use only three bits uh, so uh, if you want you can add more instructions and uh, uh, like you can add nine more instructions or optionally what you can do is uh, use only three bits for uh, instruction uh, representing instructions and uh, use five bits for address that way uh, if you decide to do this uh, your uh, cpu will uh, support 32 bytes of memory so uh, double what uh, of what we currently have uh, so if you want to design your cpu that way you can uh, do that as well i have kept only four bits for address and four bits for instruction so in future i i might add uh, a few more instructions like conditional jump uh, or uh, Maybe we can uh, add some more functionality to our ALU like uh, shifting operations. For that purpose, we can utilize the remaining bits. In next video, uh, I will explain how these instructions are executed in our CPU and then we will start to design our control unit. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and help me reach my 1000 subscriber goal by end of this year. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.